Okay, so this is Jill and Ben solving chapter four, question number 74. The subject of our problem is an airplane, so we're gonna start off by drawing our free body diagram. We have FA, FAY, and FAX. Also our normal force, our force of gravity, which is equal to our weight, and our force of friction, we are, which we are actually canceling out because we're assuming that there's no friction while the plane is in the air. So the problem says, on an airplane's takeoff, the combined action of the air around the engines and the wings of an airplane exerts an 8,000 newton force on the plane. So that's our applied force. Um, that force is directed upward at an angle of 65 degrees above the horizontal. So this angle is going to be 65 degrees. The plane rises with a constant velocity in the vertical direction while continuing to accelerate in the horizontal direction. So we can assume, assume that there is no acceleration in the y direction but it is accelerating in the x direction. And so since the plane is already in the air, we can actually get rid of the normal force because there's no force acting down on the plane. So we can solve for our FAY and our FAX. The FAY is going to be the sine of 65, which is our angle, times 8,000 newtons, which is equal to 7,250 newtons. And then our FAX will be cosine of 65 times or 8,000 newtons, giving us 3,380.9 newtons. So question A, we are solving for the weight of the plane. So we're going to look for all of our forces in the y direction since our force of gravity, gravity is equal to our weight. So our force, some of the forces in the y direction is equal to the applied force in the y minus our weight. Since there is no acceleration in the y direction, we can set that equal to zero, which is also equal to our mass times our gravity, because that's what equals our w. So when you set the problem equal to each other, you get the force of the, uh, the sum of the or FAY is equal to the weight. And we already solved for our FAY, which was 7,250.5 newtons. So that's A. Question B is asking what is the horizontal acceleration. So we're looking for the sum of the forces in the x direction. Since we're negating friction, we can just assume that the force of the fr um, the force the forces in the x direction is just equal to our FAX, which we can set equal to our mass times acceleration. So to solve for the mass, to solve for the acceleration, we first have to set m times 9.8, which we're assuming is the acceleration, equal to our sum of the forces in the y direction. And so when you divide the 9.8 by the 7,250.5 newtons, you get 739.8 kilograms. You go back to the sum of the forces equation in the x direction, and you set the 739.8 kilograms with the A to solve for acceleration. The sum of the forces in the x direction were 3,380.9 newtons. and then you divide it over and A results in five, 4.57 meters per second squared.